They watch them today, but they ain't watch them back in 2003. You could tell when niggas be like, oh, Bron this, Bron. Like, you ain't watch them hoop, bro. Bron does everything your favorite basketball player does. Quit playing. Bron is your favorite basketball player's favorite basketball player. Stop it. <laughs> like, stop it. This is the Lost Ones podcast. It's your boy Rob Glove. Just the prince. Stop the, the bronze slander. <laughs> stop the bronze slander. The nigga is playing 25 minutes and averaging 21 with 25 minutes. That's a that's a point a minute, nigga. Stop the bronze slander, bro. LeBron is getting a point a minute if you think about this. Stop let's, it. Let's, let's ease our way to the podcast. He's on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It just got that, that little shit. Yo, you good. It's October 30th. It's the Monday. Um, We both went over, out of town for the weekend. I went to Alabama to see my family. Really, what did you? I think you said you went to PA? Uh, No, I went to uh Tennessee. Linked up with my little sister. Nigga, we was, we was damn near. We here. was right there, bro. <laughs> I see you was pulling through Kentucky. I was like, we was just there, bro. Like, we was I just in Kentucky. We through Kentucky. We pulled through Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We was just there. I should have told you to pull up and smoke one with us. Nigga. <laughs> we was already back, though. Hell yeah. We just got back three hours ago. I'm tired as fuck. Traveling with kids. This and this, this, this let people know this is not the first time me and my kids went out of town. Only took Zari. Um, I've been I've been to Alabama by myself a few times. When I was like her age for real. So it's not I've it's been not out there too. Time. Yeah, so next time I'm bring Xavi, Xavi and Zola with, with us next time. Um how old is uh Zari? Zari, Zari will be two in January, bro. That's about when I went out to Alabama too. I was about like two or three years old. Yeah, I seen them all. My cousins, unc, niggas, you know, they getting little rich uncles and aunties. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, they definitely had to. They like, yeah, I see what you doing, man. You a family and shit. You know, you you. I, and I tell, and I tell people this, you know, the stigma on young niggas and what they doing in life and shit. And I tell people all the time, listen, I've, I I keep a job. I keep working. Mm -hmm. School. Been, I'm back in school. I've been was doing school. Like, I've never been a nigga who, who not was just like, like my parents was taking care of me. I mean, yeah, my parents took care of me, but like up until like 17, I've been working, doing my own shit. Like all my cars I ever bought been been me. School shit been me. Like, so I can that's something like you no, know, my father, he always tell me, like, you, you been doing your shit. No, nah, yeah. Nah, nah, I always I've always personally wish I had like an extra push on certain things and shit. And that's why I feel like I have to get my, my kids is, is fairly young. They still they've just been born recently, but it's on me to put them in the position to where they don't gotta grind. Like maybe my son, I want him to kind of grind himself. Men and women is different, but I want to get to a point where I'm buying my kids cars and teaching them the responsibility and teaching them consequences that comes with things and i mean i'm their father i'm never not going to provide for my kids right you feel me if i if i'm in need of something my parents still you know look out and do shit for me if i absolutely need to it's just not like buy me shit that i want like, right right shit. right right you know what I mean? so yeah see I, like i just don't want my kids i guess like when i was a kid like you know i had the life where i could get whatever i want as i got older I kind of struggle like as an adult so i just don't want my kids to like struggle as an adult type shit. Like, i know they're gonna be but, cool but like as an adult but... like you know what i mean like i know like like i just want my kids to think oh damn like i'm an adult i gotta do like no like i want to put them in a position where they don't have to like struggle don't have oh, to go through the same shit that i went through at 20 21 22 23. Mm -hmm. like that's that's kind of what i want to do like I want my kids to be self-sufficient. I'm gonna still oh, do yeah. them, but oh, I yeah. want you to learn how to do shit for your own as well. So just in case, like we're not gonna be here forever. I'm gonna tell my kids for sure. You know, time some shit happened to me or your mom, like I, that's why I need to be in a position now. Do shit put to get y'all in a position to where you know, like you mm -hmm. said, like when I was in my early 20s, even even now, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I had to literally work for everything. And maybe I think maybe at that time in my life, 
I, I, I held kind of resentment to my parents because it's like, damn, like y'all should have kind of put me in the position more. I, but I do think my parents a they little, tried the best they could. No, no, yeah. not only just that, my father got sick for real. Yeah, man. see. So life, life shit was happening. Even though I held mm -hmm. resentment, I'm still understanding. Like. I'm still grown. I gotta do shit for my own. Yeah, I, I would love to have a little push to get me to where I want to be a little faster. But I understand the road to shit takes time. Mm -hmm. so I don't want my kids to hold that same resentment because now I understand. Now I kind of understand a little bit about having my own kids. So yeah, see me, I, it was like the opposite. Like I knew, like my mom, like my dad got sick at an early age. Like I was like. I for real when my dad it's was it was a rap for you my yeah, it, was, it was a rap like it was like my dad he physically couldn't be there so my mom did like literally the best she could so like she didn't have the money to send me to the best colleges or nothing like that like but you know she got me a car she did all that shit but as far as like that extra push I kind of had to drive myself for that like she didn't understand my interests and my careers like my dad probably would understood a little bit more but my mom kind of just understood okay you're gonna go to school or get a job type shit i'm gonna do the best i can to get you there like and she did she did yeah, parents has had those type of kids to where they didn't give them every single thing and them kids have to work you should be appreciative of those kids because mm -hmm. i don't lot to i could have fell to the streets if i if i was easily influenced i could have been influenced by a lot of negative shit because i had to do a lot of things for myself but that's why I, my father know and i had to let my mom know like y'all lucky to have a son like me for real for real because i've helped my parents pay bills at an early me and my sister for real and my brother when he my brother was here when my parents needed shit, pay my own bills when i had one no have my own half my half my own crib cars mm -hmm. i've always done that i let my parents use my car when i had my car and they didn't have one at the time so it's like i could have went down a, a bad road especially when my brother went to the military i was like 14 13 14 my brother went to the military and i didn't have him like coming into like teenage years adulthood i could have went on a fucked up road but I, I, I knew i didn't fully know but i knew that I wanted to be something. I, I knew that I'm not to get caught up in this and this greater shit for me. So it's have happy to have children that that know better. Yeah, that know better, and that's what I'm gonna tell my kids. Like, like you know, they they set up pretty much because of their grandfather. You know, her mm -hmm. her because you know what I'm saying they already got like. 40 50 bands waiting for him on the time. They good, bro. <laughs> they good. They said now it's yeah. on the mother to add on on top of that and to give them the wisdom to steal a, a work ethic. My my yeah. daughters are not necessarily work, but they're gonna be self-sufficient and have skills to where if they want to, they can gonna, do that. They're gonna they're gonna do that. My son, he my son not gonna struggle, but my nigga gonna go through some trials and tribulations, learn consequences and responsibilities. And one thing about me and their mother, I consistently drill into her head because a not to talk shit about her or nothing. This is not no talking shit at all. Her father wasn't there in, in the age that she you know had to grow up in, you know. So she didn't get that male figure that needed to instill discipline and, and wisdom. And I tell her, like, I'm not gonna question you being the mom, you are the mother, you're the nurturer. I know you're gonna hold it down. So when I'm having to be the person that has to discipline them, not physically, not like mentally discipline them and steal certain shit and correct them, don't question me. Don't question me. You want mm -hmm. to be on my side. Even if we can talk about it later on and agree, disagree on certain things, just know you have a male that give a fuck about his kids enough to steal certain shit and not to their own fault a lot of women have to raise children on their own simple as that sip it's like like your case with you and your mom i know your father wasn't there because he didn't want to or like Shar, her father wasn't there because he was locked up you feel me so it's not their fault but no the mothers are having that control so when they do have a male a father i ain't no daddy or no 
No, it's a nigga. I'm a whole time full fucking father. Mm-hmm. Full time, nigga. I don't do this half shit or get my kids when I nigga, even when I don't feel like it, nigga. I got school right now. Shit, working every fucking day. What do I think about the most? Kids, man. My kids. Let me spend time with my kids. Let me laugh, feed them, breakfast. I keep the same routine since they was born. Even if I'm going out of town. I was just out of town. No, Zari's getting that. She's going to have some milk. She's going to have fruit with every little meal she get. I don't play that shit. Make sure she eat right. Yeah. For sure, I mean, 100%. I ain't going to lie. Over this weekend, she had a little, little snacks and shit. I ain't going to fake. It but, happens. <laughs> but, but as far as, like, you know, one of my uncles is telling me, like, this is some real shit. He was like, I understand your mom, your sister, and all your women in your life play a role, and you having kids, but you are the father. Your, your word mean everything. Even over the mom, even over, I, I would never tell their mom your word don't mean no. We a team in raising these kids. Your word just means as much as mine. If they if they come to me and you don't approve of something, I'm gonna say your mama said no, and that's that. And I res- and I expect that same thing. They come to her say some, and if your the, your father don't approve, it's just that. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm playing that shit. I tell people, listen, I am a father. Like, their mother is just as important here, for sure. For sure. Never going to deny the role of a mom, but you're not going to deny me either. Yeah. If they, I try to, my, they try to downplay that father role too much, bro. If I, tell, if I tell my kids to do something, I don't care who else around that's saying something different. You listen to me. You come from my balls. <laughs> You come don't from, make me don't make me spit this smoke out. You you come from <laughs> my balls. So whatever the fuck I say, you're gonna do it. And that's not even trying to be on no gosh, no, no controlling them. I mean, I do control them, they're my kids, but I mean control them in this age. They're they're fucking babies still. So I control every aspect of their life. You feel me? 100 percent I, I I firmly believe. Like, I'm one of those kids where it's like, I give my kids options and not choices. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm one of them, like, where it's like, my mom ain't really give me choices. Like, she ain't really be like, oh, like, she gave me like. You're going to eat vegetables yeah. with carrots or broccoli. You feel me? That was it. She ain't say, what kind of you're vegetables did you want? One, See, but which one would you prefer? For sure, you got to give, you got to give children the choices because. And sometimes it's going to be a dictatorship. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. It, it's, it's going to be. I already right, know. My mom made executive decisions, bro. Like, no, you're going to eat this broccoli. I fuck with broccoli. But you're going to eat it. Like, you know, I'm. that's how I got hip to a lot of food. Like, my mom just made me eat it. And I was like, oh, this ain't, this ain't bad for real. Like, it looked bad, but it ain't, it ain't bad. Hell yeah. Like, hey, I, I firmly believe that, bro. Like, yeah, broccoli, carrots. Or uh, corn. Which one you want, bro? Pick one. Shit, you can have all three. Brady talks some basketball, though. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> let's get this. Let's get this NBA talk going, man. I'm, let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. I haven't hot. watched more games today. See, I, I, I didn't either. The uh, okay. I watched a couple. I tried to watch a couple, but then they were getting a little out of control. Like the Boston game, they were up by like 30 in the first quarter. Turned that off. The one game that was cool was uh Hawks and uh was it Hawks and uh Minnesota. Hawks and Minnesota. You call it Minnesota. Hey, Golden State is whooping Pelicans ass right now. And the Lakers are supposed to play at 10:30. If them niggas lose to the Magic, <laughs> bro, I'm turning in my Braun Lakers jersey. I'm selling it. <laughs> like I'm selling it. I'm like, I, think, so- I think we come to the point in where I think LeBron think he can still control shit every night. I think he can too. I just think that, and this is part, and this is part of Braun's doing. So we're gonna be accountable. Braun have a fucking role in everything. I've never been thinking like 
everything is Bron's fault. But LeBron is accountable in a lot of the situations. Like with Kyrie Irving getting traded. LeBron had a Most people don't want to admit that. LeBron didn't mend that bridge with Kyrie. He let that nigga walk. Me, if I'm Bron, bro, I'm like, Kyrie, man, listen. You don't gotta do that, bro. We can we can have a two guard system. We can work something out, man. Look, listen, we're hoopers. We duck, Kyrie. Let's run it back. Like if I was Bron, bro, it's not like I'm begging the nigga, but it's like, why are you? You feel me? We just won, bro. We literally like, yeah, we took an L, but that's cool, bro. We we'll bounce back. Like in 2018, they would have spanked them. They really Bron was in peak form. Like Bron was in peak form in 2018, bro. And just imagine Kyrie still being there, and then we still do a couple trades to get those other players. Like, get out of here, bro. We really would have spanked them in 2018. Bron dropped 51 in the first game. I think I think we come to the point where, like, I think the expectations of, on Bron is always championship or bust. I think at some point it's like, although he's an all-time great, so the expectations is already going to be on them. Listen, man, I don't – I just want Bron to win maybe one more. I want him to win two more, but I think I'm good with one more, bro. If that nigga win his fifth one, I don't care what he do after that. Yeah. The nigga I'm, can lose yeah. 80 games. And as long as he get that fifth ring, my nigga, I don't care about Nathan. Yeah. Yeah, he, he just need that. He just need that fifth one to solidify, bro. Like he already solidified to me, but like he need that fifth one to be like, I am the motherfucking goat. Like ain't nobody gonna, <laughs> like I am him. I'm him, bro. I'm Hemothy. Uh, like, it, bro, Kareem, who is that? I already passed him. <laughs> like we already there, bro. Like Jordan, them six rings, those are cute. <laughs> like those are cute, bro. Those are cute. <laughs> yeah, like, if Brian get that fifth, bro, that six yeah, ring. That's cute. That's cute. Those six rings are cute. I ain't retired to get five, though. Those are cute, though, Jordan. Next, Kobe, I like you, but, hey, I got five MVPs to match mine. We're next. <laughs> like, bro, Brian is going to be I, hollering, I, bro. I, I, <laughs> like, I think the Kobe conversation is just funny. I think it's funny. Yeah, Kobe's look. a great player. Don't ever get me wrong, but LeBron has so much responsibility in his career, way more than Kobe ever had. This is coming from a Kobe fan, bro. When Bron got ring number three, he cleared Kobe. Yeah, when he got ring number four, nigga, I was like, it's a wrap. Oh, oh, Kobe, after man. ring number three to me, like, and I like Kobe, but he cleared Kobe. Three rings, three MVPs. Kobe only got two MVPs. That's how I base it when it comes to these finals, bro. Like, it's oh, the MVPs with the four. rings. And they got four. Well, well, no, that's before the fourth. I mean, once you get more, like, Bron already cleared Kobe. Like, that's why the fourth one, it was like, bro, you cleared, bro. You, you cleared Kobe. Like, you got it on the Lakers. It's you done, bro. You done. You, you done. <laughs> Bron cleared Kobe in 2012. To me, uh, I don't know about that. To me, he okay, cleared to you. Nigga, he, he cleared that nigga 10 years ago. To you, yeah, yeah. But to me, he ain't really cleared Kobe in 2012. I understand why you said that, but nah. Just saying, man. Like, even if Bron got his third ring on the Heat, he would have cleared Kobe. Like, the fact that he got three rings and three MVPs cleared Kobe to me. The fact that Bron did on the Cavs ultimately really cleared Kobe. I mean, I ain't oh, even going. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sorry, Kobe, but Kobe, man, you are my dog. But Bron just cleared the fuck out of you. Like it was like it wasn't even no. It was, and Bron all like Bron's like an all time goat to me before he even got the rings. Kobe was just like you know my dog because I was just the first player I saw. Like Kobe's gonna ever, forever be there, but Bron, nigga. Like, I'm from Akron, bro. You can't, don't, mm -mm. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, I, bro. I drove past Columbus. Hold on, give me one second. I love Columbus. Man, Columbus is such a fucking 
beautiful city. I said the same shit. Me and my mom got into this big ass debate. Which one was better, Columbus or Cincinnati? I said Columbus, bro. Cincinnati nice too, but Columbus for sure. Yes, thank you. I'm happy somebody else agrees. So happy. Columbus, Columbus clears for sure. Clears. Right. It's not even. It's not even funny how Columbus clear. Crazy. And my mom was trying to cook. I'm like, Columbus is so beautiful. Da, 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 da. I'm like, it, it really is. Like, catch it during a good day, bro. A good day. You probably caught it during a good day. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I know. Oh. <laughs> I know how Columbus shaped. Mm, my God. I'm tired of the bitch right now, bro. I'm about to roll up right now. Man. Mm. You gonna come get a new phone, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I need a new phone bad as fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's just changing phone plans again. Like just I'm pick not... the one, man. Just look, I'm on T Mobile probably for the rest of my life. I'm on simple. This fuck T Mobile forever. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, man, we don't got to go to T-Mobile, bro. We can get you on whatever plan you want. That's Verizon or at and I would go with Verizon if I was you. but Verizon tax, though. Yeah, but like but like Verizon cool, though. Like I have Verizon. I would have stuck with them if I just kept paying my bill. I just was getting lazy on that shit. It can was we, getting a little... Can we talk about this nigga Leo and what he said, man? About Brian? Like... Yeah, that's how I see how I opened up the pod. <laughs> like you need to My get it on the pod. Bro, bro. Bro, I play too much. I was, let me go back to the let me go back. Please go back. I want this nigga on the pod, man. One thing we're not gonna do is talk about Braun like he just didn't play off ball or he suck at it, bro. That like, nigga said Braun is the problem. I was like, whoa, nigga, what? I had to chime in. I said crack, bro. Like it's it's a hell of it's a hell of a drug. Hey y'all. Stay off drugs. It, unless it's weed, stay off drugs, please. Because crack and even certain weed, bro, don't smoke it, man. Because y'all be saying some dumb shit online, bro. I swear. I be saying some dumb shit. Man, I'm a blunt. I'm blunt. I'm gonna keep Leo. You my dog, but that was that was that was crazy, bro. That, that was, was crazy to say, was bro. Nuts. That was nuts. I was like, whoa, there, buddy. Yeah, you didn't. You, I didn't have to enter the chat, bro. Brian off like ooh, crazy. Brian's the problem. How is 25 minutes averaging 21 a problem? He's averaging a point a minute. That means every 60 seconds he's gonna give you a bucket, bro. It don't matter how he does it, he's gonna get it in a minute. As long as he's in the game, he's gonna get you a bucket a minute, bro. Quit playing with Brian, bro. Like you're tripping. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's, it's, you know what's funny? What what's that? You know what's funny? Like two things. Okay, cool. You know what's funny about this shit? Was niggas ever talking shit about Kobe when he was on the ball hall shit? Yes. No. No, they didn't. They actually yes. they actually encouraged it. I don't know, bro. Like my mom, bro. So my mom was in the basketball for real back in the day. And like my mom hated Kobe just for the simple fact that he was a ball hog. And I loved Kobe for the simple fact that he was a ball hog. So I mean, hey, but I mean it's a it is an issue. It is an issue. Niggas tried too hard to be Jordan, bro. They yeah, they did. They did. No, he did. <laughs> hey man, Kobe did what he had to do, man. Fuck it. <laughs> like, fuck it. I just don't like when they try to compare them to niggas. It's like, I don't either. I was like, Brian and Kobe played two different type of ways. Like, Kobe did his shit that made him successful, and Brian has too. So why? So why? Is, why does LeBron need to be like Kobe and Jordan? I never. LeBron, LeBron has been successful at being LeBron. Mm -hmm. I never really compared them. Like I. Braun was in a whole different category. Like, you know how in 2K, like that one of a kind shit. Yeah, that's Braun, bro. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga, one of a kind. You was bro, like, just... 
I ain't gonna lie, Jason Tatum. They they put that on Jason Tatum now on 2K. So that nigga, one of a kind. He him. Like, what the fuck has Jason Tatum done? His ball, like he be hooping, bro. No, he don't, bro. You finally saying JT don't hoop? I've been saying Jason Tatum is overrated for the last four years. I don't yeah. remember you saying that for real, I'm but talk saying, about it. Speak I on say, it. I say, I ain't going to fake to you. I want to entertain this one. Jason Tatum is nice. Don't get me wrong. Bitch is nice. When, he on, when he's on bullshit, I think Jason Tatum got an opportunity to clear Melo. I think he got an opportunity to clear T-Mac. All the niggas. But what the one thing I say about Tatum is he settled for so many jumpers. Because he can make it, the nigga settles far too much for my liking. He 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 settles. He he very much settles. He he'll be a great co-star. I don't think he's a he's the star, the best player on the team that can get you a ring. I don't think that. And that's okay. But if Kyrie would have stayed in Boston, I think him and JT would have been crazy as a duo. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I think. Uh, but yeah, he's he, over. I mean, you know how I feel about Jason Tatum. He plays for plays for the city ass Celtics. I hate the Celtics, but I like him. I like his game. Oh. Uh, I think he – I really personally think he, he is a, a leader. I mean, like, I, I personally think so. I know I know why you say he might be a number two and he does settle a lot, but I do think, like, he has that, that style, dog in him, though. Play style-wise, he's a number two. See, play I don't I don't think so. I just think he yeah. just needs that – he just needs that, what would you say in the last – that push, man. And Jason Tatum, like, he's still young. He's going to get there. He's going to get there. Twenty-five, twenty-six. It's like him and Jalen Brown is still. They still young, bro. They gonna get there, man. Like, I think. We've been saying that for four years now. I okay. So like, I so like I. I think if it's not this year, it's gonna be next year. It's gonna beat the Celtics. Did you think it's gonna beat the Warriors last year, two years ago? You said what? You did. Did you think they was gonna beat the Warriors two years ago? In 2022, no, no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Steph Curry, Steph hell Curry, nah. easily was the best player on the court. I, I actually wanted the Warriors to win, but nah. And and although Jason Tatum is great, a nigga like Draymond Green can limit Jason Tatum. Mm. Yes, yes. Jason Tatum got the got the athleticism for sure. You gotta I, think, man. These niggas, I, them niggas, is getting old ball. though. I think the nigga is better than Paul Pierce. Who? JT. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, But you got to think, them niggas in Golden State are getting kind of old, though, man. Like, Boston's on the on a, on a progression. Long as that nigga Steph Curry can hit five threes in a game, I'm not worried about. Now, everybody else, yeah. Steph, on the other hand, nigga. Yeah, Steph be cooking, but see, they got to get to the finals, though. They ain't get there. They ain't get there last year. They got to get there. It's the, the key is getting there, bro. Boston got to worry about the Warriors when they face them in the finals, and that's when they might be become a problem, but they got to get to the finals. I think the only teams Boston really got to worry about on the West is Denver. Because Denver going to cook the fuck out of them. They going to – Denver going to be like, hey, we're playing Boston in the finals? Hey, I ain't Set it up, bro. Set it up. Niggas got to guard Giannis and um and Dane. And that's it right there. That's, that's the know. East. I don't know. I don't know if niggas because niggas can't guard Giannis. Can't nobody guard Giannis. Yeah, and if Dame's comeback coming, game was a thirty piece, thirty nine piece. Dame is hidden. Can't nobody really guard Dame either. Mm hmm. Thirty nine points first game is crazy. It's crazy. I expected it. And I was like, Giannis going to let that nigga cook. Because you know why? That nigga Giannis going to get 30. I, I was telling this one nigga at my job, I'm like, Giannis is probably, Giannis is up there as one of the most unguardable niggas I've probably ever seen. Him and he on, I think Giannis is on broad level of unstoppable. Can't nobody fuck with him unless he just plays shitty. 
I don't I don't know if yeah. I, I, I don't see niggas really having an answer for Giannis. No, so, like getting them that the free throw line. That's the answer. I, <laughs> that's I don't it, care. bro. I don't care about that shit. I me personally, I don't care about that shit. I don't. I mean, I don't either, but I'm just saying, like, that's the answer. And if that's the answer, then you're you're unguardable. Cause like if all right, put it like this, bro. When Braun first came to the league, like that nigga was shitty in free at free throws. So they knew foul him because that's the only way you're gonna stop him. Braun not shitty at the free throw line, but yeah, yeah. bro, come on, you know. God that. damn, he hey, no, god damn. Let's, let's keep it. Let's keep it a buck. That nigga Braun was <laughs> no, he ain't even. Shit. No, yeah. even my grandma would sit there and be like, bro, Braun, like he gonna miss and then. Fucking miss, bro. And my grandma would start laughing and be like, that nigga trash at the free throw line. If my grandma say that, bro, it's 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 solidified, bro. I don't care. Yeah, so but other than that, bro, like Braun was getting to the rim scoring. Braun was, you know, turning around Jay scoring, a couple threes. Like you wasn't guarding on me. Giannis, bro, you just not stopping that nigga, bro. I'm moving. I'm swiping, moving, bro. If I get the foul, I get the foul, bro. That's a big ass nigga to try to stop, bro. I'm not stopping him. I'm moving. I'm, moving. I'm getting out the way. Swipe like, and move. I'm gonna be like, I'm nigga. I'm gonna try to swipe the ball at your hand, but like, nigga, if I can't, I'm GG. out the way. GG, nigga. I'm hitting your hand, bro. I'm getting that foul, bro. Because there, there's that's the only way. And if you get an and one, then fuck, I, I messed up. I mess. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> like he's, you see how big he is, bro. He's big, fast. He's Giannis, bro. I think, I think Giannis is like. I, I think I told you this. I said him and Yoki's gonna push niggas up that top ten. Oh yeah, they already did to me. Yeah, I, I don't. I just don't. The Grizzlies are zero and four. Mm. They don't got John Moran, so like, I guess that's an excuse. You guess, nigga. They don't have their star player. Yeah, man, but you know, win one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I just don't like losing, bro. Like, win one, bro. <laughs> Nigga said, win one. That's it, bro. I just asked for one. Like, if the Cavs lose again, bro, I don't know. I'm going, and we're going to the Cavs-Lakers game, bro. I'm going as a Lakers fan if the Cavs start losing, bro. I don't care. Hey, I'm telling niggas this. I'm telling niggas, niggas this very much early. Trey Donovan Mitchell. Mm hmm That's it. It needs to be done. I it said needs, that, too. It needs to be done. Like, He's not going to come back here. He's not resign. He's he's not resigning to Cleveland. Just trade him for pieces or draft capital. He's not resigning here, and that's okay. Cool with it. It's not okay, but it's okay. Like I'm cool with it, bro. Like, look, man. Sometimes you just gotta let people walk, man. Look, I understand it. Yeah, no. Off for nothing, nigga. Go get the draft capital. I'm talking about well, in the sense of like you know, it's Donovan Mitchell. Like you, you got to get something off of him. Like me, I'm gonna get something off. Of him. I just don't think the fit is good. See, I do. It's just the fact he don't want to play here. Two small guards that don't play defense. He's hindering Darius Garland because Garland feels like shit. I'm with an elite scorer. I don't have to score, and that's and I ain't gonna lie. And that scares me about trading Donovan Mitchell because Darius Garden has yet to hit that offensive lead. My nigga's a good shooter. He don't shoot. The nigga's like a black Steve Nash. Bro, shoot. You can shoot. Shoot the ball more, nigga. Yeah. Like, that That hurt us in the playoffs. Yes, Jerry Allen and, and Evan Mobley was getting fucking killed in the paint. Not going to lie. They did. It was. It was. They was getting killed. But a part of the problem was our two guards that's literally our offense, for real, for real. If Donovan Mitchell is not scoring 40 a game, we're fucked. 
We're, we're, we're literally fucked. Max Struess been looking good as fuck. Oh, yeah. Coral been looking good as fuck. And mm -hmm. I Coral can keep playing like this the whole fucking year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And literally, we hey, talking. Listen, listen to me. I listen good when I say this. I was telling niggas, Isaac Coro is literally that type of nigga that calves me. If that nigga can just hit shots, he can go to the paint. My nigga Isaac Coro can really go to the rim. I have no problem with that. The nigga has been our best defender since he's been drafted. The nigga just can't shoot. And that nigga been... Let me look up this nigga's stats. Oh, he's God. Been, I hate look looking at this nigga's stats. I just no, like no, watching no. him play. <laughs> that nigga been hooping. He's been hooping, but I just don't like looking at his stats. <laughs> like, I really don't, bro. No, bro. No, bro. Listen, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you... I ain't going to lie. He been playing good. He has his, like, one iffy game, but that nigga been... That nigga been good this season. He's been, he's been he's been doing he's been doing numbers. He's been averaging 14.6 rounds, three assists, almost two steals. He's shooting 53% from the field and 43% from three. I swear to God, if Isaac Accord can give me that, bro, every I game. I need that every if game. If almost he, every game. If he can <laughs> give me that. Oh my god. Trey Derry, Trey, no, Trey Donovan, Donovan Mitchell, Mitchell. Yeah. For a good number for a good shooting guard. Keep Levert coming off the bench or Trey. I honestly think Karis Levert is in, but that's my but Karis Levert can get his own shot. Cool. And we can keep Okoro. And we can keep Levert. Trey Mitchell for like a three and D two guard. Darius Garland got set the fuck up. He got to. You gotta step up, bro. You gotta step. You gotta step up. Real shit. You gotta yeah. step up. Yeah, this, this got this gotta be your team, bro. You gotta oh, show bro. you gotta show niggas that this is your team. After if they trade Diamond Mitchell, you gotta prove all right, I'm next up. I'm him. I think D I think DG is one of the best young guards, best young players in the league. For I sure. I think because of the fact he had to split a lot of time with Saxon at first. And I think only 2021. No, what was it when we was balling? Yeah, because we didn't make the playoffs. 2022 when we was balling. If that nigga didn't get hurt. But DG need a nigga like. DG needs a nigga like. Um, like. A guard, uh, DG needs a nigga like Mitchell or Saxon. He needs another player that can get their own shot. And he good. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Real shit. And if that nigga can give me that ball, listen. We said, bro. We said. He just got to trade uh, Allen though. I yeah. know that. I ain't gonna lie to you. We've been getting killed in the pain. That's probably how we've been losing. I ain't gonna lie. I've been trying to watch the games on vacation, but I just couldn't, man. I have niggas. Oh, yeah, because them niggas don't have um Cleveland satellite. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I could watch it, but like I just couldn't because I was just doing other shit. Yeah, listen, them niggas. We we need we need a solid bench. We got a, we got a decent bench. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know, man. We just we just need to we need to improve, bro. Oh, hundred percent, man. We we got it though. We got it. It's only the I ain't gonna know. I don't like using that excuse. We got we got to improve. I don't like other people using that excuse. I ain't gonna use. It. I was gonna say it's only the first few games, but nope. I ain't using that shit. I don't like meteor meteor meteorocity. Tried to say it correctly. I don't like it. It don't <laughs> sit right with me. I don't like losing, bro. Losing just fucking hurts. Losing is a part of life. It is, but like, I don't like it. I don't mean I gotta like it. Everything's a part of life. I don't gotta like it. There's things you don't like. That's a part of life. <laughs> I don't like losing. That's something. That's one God, thing yeah. in life I don't like is losing, bro. I'm a winner. I like God, the yeah, win. There's some shit in life <laughs> I don't 
fucking like. <laughs> I just, I just don't. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> and let me tell y'all, losing is one I don't like. I don't fucking like losing, bro. I like winning at everything. Okay, if I don't man. win, if I don't win, yes, I can. If I don't win, then I learn how to do it and I go win. You can't win at everything, bro. Yes, you can. You can't. You can't. You, you can. gonna disappoint, you're gonna disappoint yourself if you think that. I have, and then that's when I come back and win. And I'll be happy, I'll be proud of myself. I don't like losing, bro. I take losing personal. Like I understand losing is a part of life, but I also know I could win at whatever I lost at. That's the thing. Niggas, niggas sound like Jordan, nigga. I took that shit personal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> personal, bro. Oh, you're going to beat me? Bet. We're going to run that shit back. 100%. I'm going to see you again. Hell yeah. And when I do, best believe I'm going to win. Man, I had so many sessions over this weekend. It feel good to smoke a blunt by yourself. Thank you. Me too, bro. I felt that. When I got back to the crib, I sparked one. I was like, oh, yes. That first puff, not knowing you have to pass it to somebody, like, it just felt good. Me and my sister be smoking. Sometimes, my sister is so funny. She be tapping out on the blood. I say, bitch, here. She be oh, like, man. she be like, no, man, I'm, I'm high. I say, you're a pussy. Man, me and my sister, my older sister, we'll go, like, we'll smoke a little me and my older sister will smoke, smoke. My younger one might uh tap out with my older one. She going on. was the only child. I uh so my mom, bro. So I got a stepsister. Like she been in the family, and then my mom, she met uh, she met like my other sister. Basically, like took her in type shit, like adopted her type shit. So I've been cool with them for my whole life. Like I've been cool with my stepsister for twenty years, and my older sister for like ten. So. That's your sisters, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they my sisters, bro. Like there ain't no denying them, bro. And then my my older sister, they say we look alike, and we're not even related. So I say, yeah, we're just that's it. Oh yeah, nigga, driving on the road with kids, nigga, is no fucking joke. My daughter was fucking, and I ain't gonna lie to you, this was her first time having to sit in the car for like multiple hours. I love my baby to death. <laughs> God damn. You know yeah. what, like, man? You know I don't like when people say or family be like, don't be irritated by your kids and shit. Or they do some. Fuck that shit. My, I don't want to hear. I've been listening to these motherfuckers cross since they got out the womb. When I be telling them to be quiet and stop crying, I mean that shit. Yeah. That, that, parent, that parent anger Shit is real. I'm it's not real. It's real. I should be confused. Like, why are parents always so angry? My nigga, I get it. That shit real. I'll be like, shut up, be quiet. Not I don't tell them to shut up. I tell them, be quiet. Stop. And that's why I go back to saying, like, like, say like women in my family think I'm being too harsh on my daughter or something. And or I'm never harsh on my baby, like. I'm actually sometimes a little bit too lenient with my baby. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you the lenient one. I really feel like you the lenient one. I am, and, and, <laughs> I, and that's why I'm. That's why I told their mama like, no, I gotta be the one that's gotta be on ass, and you and you gotta be the nice one. Well, oh, hey, all right, to my son, I gotta be the mean one. You be nice to him. With the girls. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be the lenient one, but they gonna they gonna no, daddy don't play that shit. They don't know daddy gonna rip off the shirt of his back, so y'all can be happy. I, I'm listen. I had I have daughters, nigga. I'm, I'm more emotional. I'm more I'm more like trying to please them, but sometimes I'd be like, no, nah, fuck that shit. Y'all gonna do what the fuck I say. For and real though, he said I might have to rip off a shirt. <laughs> rip off my shirt just so my son can be can be happy as fuck. They never, they never, <laughs> they never not. These kids are spoiled, bro. Like my kids are very. I so, know they are. You spoil the fuck out of your kids be, because they spoil as fuck. I gotta be like I have to be the one to be like, all right, fuck that. No, what I just, what I just, what I just tell you. Fuck what somebody else told you. What did I just tell you? For real, what did I just say? 
<laughs> I, I had that little conversation with my mom. Like, I know what you're saying, and I'm listening to you. And get, but when I tell them to do some shit, when I say something to them, it's my word over air. Air one of y'all. I know I'm your. I know I'm your son, but I'm their parent. So when I tell them some shit. I'm telling them some shit. Yeah, no. that cuts all that, bro. That, that shit, even with their mother. And like I said, it's going to be times where I'm going to be like, your mama said no, so it's going to be no. Kids do that. Kids are smart. Me and my sister used to ask one parent something and go to the other one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did that shit. My mama said no. We go run. Start. My father like, what's your mama just say? No. Why are you asking me? Oh, yeah. My mama said, what's your father say? So why are you coming to ask me? <laughs> I had to do that with my grandma, bro. I used to, my mom said no, bet. Used to go straight to my grandma. I know she'll say, yeah, it's over with. Yeah, but, <laughs> parents, like, hell no. What's, what's the other one to say? No. No. <laughs> like, hell no. I gotta, I gotta be the one to raise my voice a little bit. And, and now, I think because I'm in that... I'm in that role now. People in my family look at it like they don't know how to take it. No, motherfucker. I'm my, a lot of my family still look at me like I'm just this young kid. No, my nigga. I'm a whole, I'm pushing 30 in three in two years. I'm whole ass grown with kids. Fuck that. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Like I ain't gonna lie, I give my people authority over not authority. Yeah, authority over my kids. Like my sister, my shit. Like my sister tell my daughter to do something, or stop crying, or whatever. My sister got all right to do that. I ain't gonna. Both of my sisters and my brother, I wouldn't even do that. What your uncle just told you? What your what your auntie just told you? Yeah, but if I tell them something, that's I telling you something. Mm -hmm. I ain't taking away from them. They might be telling you the right shit too. What did I just say? And when, and once my my siblings start having kids, they gonna understand too. I ain't gonna fake. I'll be telling my my brother is thirty two. Yeah, he just turned thirty two. My brother is about to start, you know, having kids soon. Him and his um him and his wife Chanel. Um. So you know, this is the only time where I can give my brother some pointers because, like. I'm, I had kids. I'm had. I had kids before him. So this is the only thing I can tell my brother. I'm like, real shit, bro. And I got a little. My father don't have no patience. My brother is the same. My brother was in the military, and he's worse with it. He really don't have patience. So I'm the only one that has some type of patience. Even when I get pissed, I'm still like. So I'll be telling my brother, like, listen, bro, you're gonna get pissed. He be like, man, the parent anger real. I'll say, I'll tell that nigga, listen, you're gonna see. You gonna have to get you gonna have to deal with your woman being pregnant, labor after pregnancy. Cause that 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 um postpartum shit is very much real. Oh yeah. Very much real. Very much real. And my nigga, I dealt with it two times. So I ain't gonna lie. This is something I've I have i have done with. I ain't gonna lead niggas wrong. I'm gonna give you game when I say this. Smoke or something. When the baby pissing you off, when the mother's pissing you off, throw you up one, bro. Bro, you up one and get the fuck out the way. <laughs> Don't even waste no time. Don't waste no time. Don't even waste no time. Matter of fact, just get you a box of shells. That way you don't, you don't even need to leave the house. Get you a box of shells, a bunch of lighters, bro. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. It, it's just, like I, like I be telling people, some days this shit get frustrating. And so, and it don't even be the kids' fault sometimes. Most of the time. Most of the time, it don't even be their fault. They, they babies. You feel me? So, they can't, they're not at fault. That don't mean that it don't still get frustrating. Oh no, for sure, like for sure, I, it's it's okay to get frustrated, man. I I feel like it's okay to be a lot of things. Like people, like people be like lying about how they feel. Like you good? Yeah. No, you're not. 
No, the fuck you not. Don't. Why you gotta lie, bro? The, I why you gotta, no, <laughs> me too. <laughs> like no, me too. Like when me and my mom got into it, bro. And then I got off the phone. And Nate's like, "You good?" I'm like, "No, I'm not, bro." <laughs> like, and they start laughing, bro. Like, but then that's when I became good, bro, because it's like we can laugh that shit off, bro. <laughs> the people that's gonna trigger your anger and all that is the people that you come from. Yeah. <laughs> the common person on the street can't piss me off. They can't. That you can't say nothing that's gonna like one of my siblings doing or saying something to me is gonna piss me off. Mm -hmm. Cause y'all know me, y'all know the is shit. Like I, I, I could piss my siblings off. I know, I know shit that's gonna piss them off. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, and I'm I know, sure. <laughs> and I know for a fact it's it's people on. They can't know a typical person piss them off for getting on their nerves. Nah, my parents piss me off more than anybody. Be <laughs> on it. Preach on it, bro. <laughs> Preach on that, man. My mom, bro. I'll be like, bro. <laughs> like, only people that can really piss me off is my parents and my siblings. That's that's really it. Like, and so I can't I can't be affected by you and what you say. Like, it's not it's it's not gonna hit me different. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> or the mother of your child, like people like that, like little the ones, your significant other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Male or female? This is not. This is not gender specific. No, for sure. This is not like, gender specific. For sure, like the one of the people that pisses you your off. brother or some bro, your like brother, uh, or your father, your nigga, yes, your uncle, yes. one of your favorite uncles. <laughs> Piss you off. These are the people that know you. Yo, your cousin, one of your cousins, bro. like bro, sister, man, what? Yes. Like it, it get there, bro. Like, and I'm like, I don't even lie about you. Good, nope. What happened, man? My my brother pissed me off. My mom, pissed. like, I be I be keeping it a band, bro. Cause... That's why niggas can't say shit to me or and make me upset, nigga. I've heard the worst from my brother, and my brother has heard the worst from me. <laughs> no, you know, for a fact, like, nigga, my brother said worse shit to me before. This ain't, this is a nothing. <laughs> this is this is a nothing. This yeah. Is nothing. Uh, 100%. Worse <laughs> shit to me, yeah, nigga. This is nothing. What you're saying means absolutely. It, it's nothing, bro. I don't think it phases me. It don't. It really don't. I think for real, for real. I don't be phased. I don't be phased by shit that's like not important. Like, yeah. like a lot of shit don't be important for real. I don't care. Like somebody having their own little opinion about who type of I don't give a fuck because A, that's probably not true. B, I don't know how to explain shit to you. I don't know. And this is why I be telling people about stop going to the internet arguing with people proving a point. I don't give a fuck these people I know. I don't give a fuck to explain to you. I don't. Yeah, I, gotta, I, I gotta really fuck with you. Like, really, like, really, you come to me with some shit, bro. I'm gonna take it. Like, seriously, you with my dog. So we have a conversation like that, bro. I'm like, man, my nigga Rue just came to give me got some shit. I probably said or did. Damn, like, damn. Like, I, I'm gonna take it. I'm a, I'm a really be like, damn, like this one of the people I fuck with for real. For I'm, I'm I, I I gotta take it. I gotta hear. I gotta hear him out and hear why he feel like that and shit. And try to mean or fix whatever that it is. Right, like, right, right. So, like. For sure, it's like a, one of my siblings, they come to me with some. Even if I'm pissed off and don't care in the moment, I'm gonna still think I'm like, damn, like what I do to piss them off? Like, what mm -hmm. like damn, like damn. If somebody I don't fucking know or barely know, my nigga, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I really don't. <laughs> I'm never gonna see you again personally. Like or I look at it as like I'm never gonna see these people again. I don't so. know you, not cool with you. We didn't done business or we fucking. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. See, and that was my problem growing up. I always been like that. Like people were like, bro, do you like care about anything? And I'm like, I stopped caring when I got to high school. I used to put people used to talk about my skin and shit when I was when I was younger. So I used to be like, damn, like I used to be feeling the way. Nigga, once I hit like 13, 14, nigga, I, I knew I was cute as fuck. But I didn't give a fuck about nothing. About nothing. Yeah, like when people ask me that, I'd just be like, I care about the things I like. Like my sister said, she was like, 
Like when I get stuck on something I like, I stick on it. I'm like, that's facts, bro. Cause I really don't care about a lot of things. So when I find something bro. I care about, like I kind of stick to it because y'all not about to fuck that up. <laughs> like I, cause it, it, it's like y'all about to fuck that up. It's, that's when my that's when I start debating shit, bro. Because y'all know about the fuck that up. And this is where I'll come back to parenting for a second. Like, if I'm about to go through this journey being a dad, I'm gonna have to be disciplined. I'm gonna have to be on ass. Like, I'm not gonna be one of them parents. Some shit is out the question. If I tell you some shit, stuff like little small shit, I ain't gonna explain to you. It it, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, I want my kids to come to me. But hey, explain why you say this or why you want me to do this and blah blah blah. blah. I'm gonna explain. I'm sitting down and say, hey, this is important for you to do, and you're gonna do it. Only yeah. the benefit of you. It may if you don't see this shit right now, you're gonna look back. You're gonna look back 10, 15, 20, like damn, my father sat me down and told me I damn this shit worked out. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Like, yeah. It's a tough journey because I, I want to be that close and nice with my kids, but I know at some point I'm going to have to be on ass. Starting now for real. Zari about to be two. Zari smart as fuck. She be manipulating like a motherfucker. <laughs> my baby be manipulating bad as fuck at two. About to be two. She, she fucking smart, bruh. She know if I tell her some shit, no. And my mom and my sister, like, oh, she gonna know she gonna wanna jump on my sister's arm because she know like this is my TT, my TT gonna, <laughs> gonna do what I want her to do. Yeah. Like, no, no. And my sister catching on, like, hold on, she be yeah. I be telling people like you don't know my child, like I know her. I, I literally got her out the womb, literally. Every kid is different. Every kid do this different shit. Everybody's different. So when a motherfucker tell you, you don't know your, you don't know my kid better than me. You know kids. You had kid. The same thing I told my mother about being sorry. She was like three months, and she wasn't taking a bottle. My mother and Shar mother wanted us to get her on a bottle soon, fast, in a hurry. Shar was saying that she was the stay at home mom. She don't need to be pumping for real. So I was telling my mama, Zara was boo-hoo screaming, red. I said, she put us all to sleep. I said, oh, no, she crying. Shario about to come here. She's going to shut right up. At that time, every time Shario come in the room, she shut up. So uber fast, like very, very fast. And my mama kept trying to give her the bottle. Kept. I said, no, she's not taking it. She Obviously, she's not going to take it. Let her scream this out until Shari will get here. She she literally just got done putting Zola to bed. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, had kids, I know you had kids before. I know this. Man. Every, Man. every child is different. And I'm clearly telling you, my child does not want this. Especially she's red in the face. She's not she's not going to stop screaming until her mama get here. Bruh, as soon as Shario got in the room, she shut the fuck up in two seconds. <laughs> I was like, I try to tell you, I know you know kids, but I know this one specifically more than you, and I know how she do. And if I'm telling you something about her, it just gets you to be informed, because I've dealt with this little girl on a consistent basis since she's been on this earth. <laughs> She knew what she was doing, man. God. <laughs> At three months, she knew what she was doing. Three months. My baby smart. My baby going to be, and it's going to be wild with Zari because she going to have this feisty ass attitude. She going to be smart as fuck. And I don't have to tell my baby, you want to chill out on your mouth. But you want to yeah. throw that little sassy, feisty shit. You want to stop that shit. You don't have to stop. Especially when it comes to me. You ain't gonna be feisty with me. I'm gonna just lay that out with all my kids. You ain't gonna be feisty with me or your mama. You ain't gonna be feisty with her either. Everybody else, fair game. <laughs> Everybody else is fair game, depending on what it is. But me and your mama, fuck that shit. No, <laughs> no, 
no. Hell fucking no. He said Hell. everybody else, fair game. <laughs> fair game to me. Now Man, bro, I, I don't know if I can tell my kids that they they gonna have mouths, bro. They're gonna be going stupid. I'm gonna be like, bro. He said that. What I had to look at him like, why you say that, man? Like, I already know. Like, <laughs> you be like, damn, I'm, I be cuss, I be cussing around these kids so, and I try to stop so much, but it the shit just fall on my tongue so easy. It, it do. It flow nice. I, I don't know. It just flow nice. So I know. I think these kids are gonna have potty mouths. Me and their mama cuss so fucking much. I'm like, damn, damn I'm cussing still. Like we, like you still, like the whole sentence, bro. I'd be like, <laughs> and Zola four, bro. She, she know, like these kids are so fucking smart. Zola, no. She be like, shit, Rob. I'm like, no, you can't say that. Like, where are you hearing this? Damn, you hearing it from me? Like, damn, no. I heard Zoe <laughs> say. I said, no, no, you don't say that. You don't say that. And don't be in public saying this shit, because then it's going to be my fault that you're saying this shit. Hey, it's, it's rap. Don't it's say rap. <laughs> I'm like, don't say that. I have to, bro. And then, like, I have to, like, wait till they get to that age to explain that they just words for real, bro. Like, as kids, you can't be saying that. They're words, though. Sure, <laughs> it's, 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 like, they're just words. True. But, True, they are just words. Like, they don't hope. Yeah, they are just words. But, but like, like you got to, like, break it down. Like, because it's like, you can't go to a job interview and yeah, start cutting. Yeah. Like, you got to, like, break it down to them. People with wealth and money or things of resources and yeah. get around. And present yourself in that manner, nigga. I cold switch like a mother, but I get on the phone. Hi, how are you doing? This is Robert. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> they hear me talk on the phone, nigga, and see my big black ass walk in the room. Be like, you real Robert? Yes, I am. How are you doing? Man, you're, you're Robert. You're Robert. Yes, I am. How you doing? With do rag and all, nigga. Bro, just imagine, bro. I'm talking to somebody like on the phone about a phone. I'm saying my name Adam, bro, and they come in, they see me. I'm like, they're probably looking at me like you're Adam. Like, yes. yeah. <laughs> there are black men named Adam. Man, I only know two. And that was me and my dad, man. Nigga, you the only nigga I know that name Adam ever in life. I never met a nigga named Adam. I know Adam from Power Rangers. Nigga was Asian. Yeah, that was, that was that was the closest. That was the closest. That was the closest. I never met a nigga named Adam. All white. <laughs> I'm be honest, the day I leave this bitch. Somebody said on Twitter, y'all be wanting to be Dirk in India the whole time y'all Ike and Tina. I don't know how I feel about India. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that short and to the point, bro. Had, where I had that exchange with her, bro, classic. Oh, that was classic. classic. <laughs> hey, hey, for all y'all watching, for y'all watching, this is on oh, this is on the, the on the channel. Please, please go back and watch. Man, that shit was hilarious. This man that was real though. That was real though. I'm not even I can't even find the tweets anymore. I think she blocked me. India block bro. She blocked the shit out of me after that. Yes, I told you that. I told you that after the, after we did that episode, she blocked the shit. Out of I me. smoked too much, bro. She blocked you. <laughs> I say, this nigga's hilarious. Cause I told him this. I said that it, after we streamed the episode, she did. Hey, 
Oh, if I had a oh, bottle, I'm taking this out. We had we have so many episodes we need to make clips of, and that's going to be one of the first ones. Yes. Oh, that 100%. shit. Hilarious. That shit was hilarious, man. <laughs> I'm about to go back and watch that episode. Like, what? I, see, after we do this, I am too. Yeah, send that to me. When you find it, just send it to me so All I can right. watch it too. On the channel, bro, YouTube. But man. but I got I don't know the name though. I don't remember the name of it. I don't need to. So let, let's let's. <laughs> hey, we're on here. Let's do this. <laughs> hey, fuck it. It's eleven eleven. Why not? <laughs> no, for real. I'm actually about to go find an episode right now. It's under videos. That shit was funny. She blocked you, bro. That that's funny as hell. I think I re- I do remember oh, you saying that. <laughs> it's called, I do. It's called speak for yourself. Yep, I'm about to go watch that right now. <laughs> I'm about to roll up and watch that right. <laughs> hey, listen to me. Listen, if I was to ever get to a point where I'm a podcast producer, I'm technically am. Whatever, but my nigga, I have the greatest fucking title for an episode. Speak for yourself, bitch. In your situation, don't speak like that. Like all niggas is like this, bitch. Speak for you. Don't speak for us. <laughs> and that is why you're blocked. See, that this is, this is what I'm talking about, bro. See, this, but that's why yeah, you're blocked. That, <laughs> like, hey, for old time's sake, let me go find it. Man, she said, yeah, I'm going to block this nigga, bro. <laughs> that's funny. Like, I never, bro. <laughs> that, was, that was fucking hilarious. Like, I if I ever got to that point, bro, where, like, a famous bitch celebrity or a famous she's bitch. Not a fucking famous, she's a rapper. Fucking. A ra- you get what I'm saying, man. I, man. You get what I'm saying, man. Like she dating a famous bitch. If I ever get to that point where she got to block me, cause I'm speaking some real shit, bro. I ain't one, bro. Like I, I ain't one, bro. That's a, that's a win in my life. How can you fucking find your own personal tweets? You could go to the mentions. I'm, I'm I'm going back to my profile. I'm on the computer. I'm um trying to go to my personal tweets and look up my tweets. Uh, oh yeah, well, nah, she blocked you. You can't go to. The I, got hundred, I got hundred. I got one hundred twenty six thousand tweets. God damn. That's it, bro. I've been on Twitter since fucking twenty ten. Wait, how many tweets do I have? Let me see. If you got more than me, that's fucking nuts. If you have more than me, that's nuts. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you said okay. you got. You said you got one hundred and twenty-six thousand. Yeah, seventeen k. So yeah, yeah, I'm about to say, nigga, you got more than me. You, you crazy. I, <laughs> but this is my second Twitter though. Like this is this is my only one. Yeah, it's my second one. I made this one in 2014. I'm trying to. So. Yeah, this is gonna be a long ass list. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Watch you, bro. That is funny as fuck. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That shit was that shit was crazy. India Dirt Girl said block. We had to make this episode. It had to been last year. Yeah, it was definitely. Was it last year? It yeah. might have been at the beginning. No, it might have been last year. Yep, it was a year ago. It was last year for sure. Let me see the date. Cause we recorded that night, nigga. Mm-hmm. We said I said we had to, bro. Somebody said September, we had to. Twenty fourth of last year. <laughs> yes, sir. I have to go. I, yeah, I have to go back and search all this shit. That's a good episode right there. See, this is why we need to clip shit up. Let me see if I let me see if she blocked me for real. Bro, she really blocked you. That is funny. You gotta throw it on the screen, share. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Please throw that shit on the screen, share. I make that shit a thumbnail. Let 
Yep. Mm. Yep. Yep. That's a that's a good block right there. That's a good block right there. <laughs> that's a good one. Well, <laughs> that's that's fucking hilarious. That's, that's crazy. Fucking, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's fucking hilarious, dog. You heard their feelings, man. Me? Yeah. No. A, ran a random from Cleveland heard their feelings, bro. You gotta think about that. Like that's why I said that's a win in my book. Like, yeah, I'm gonna hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Let me not even fake apologize, bro. That should be just. Bro, what is going on? <laughs> Let me see if I can find this shit on my on my Twitter on my phone. Lock you, bro. I promise you. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, we don't give a fuck. Nope. I'm rolling that India pack right now, man. I <laughs> <laughs> like. I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> I got this nigga dead. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can I? I'm gonna screenshot this shit and I'm gonna send it to my email, and I'm a I'm gonna upload it through the computer, y'all. Give me a few seconds, man. Oh, we can wait. We got time. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> we got time. Oh shit! Oh my god! I'm like, why can't I find this shit on? A on the laptop. It's all good. It's a good blunt. India. Oh, I remember yeah. when he was making songs about her. Hey, his India songs did slap. They did slap. Hey, and, and niggas out here saying, nah, he right though. <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, they slap. Is that nigga lied to you to the whole world? Don't mean every nigga like that. Speak for yourself, bitch. <laughs> no. That is a you problem. <laughs> Bro, I told, and the crazy thing is when, when Dirk was making those India songs with Slap, I got to throw that in there. I told my girl, I was like, Bro, these songs really bullshit. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Them bitches was bangers too. No, 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 no. They were bangers, but I'm talking about as far as the 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 meaning behind it, bro. Like they, were, he was just dropping a banger. Trust me, this is all facade. Don't believe it. <laughs> Don't believe I it. Do everything under the sun. I want to do everything just one on one. Ain't had relationships since oh nine. Can't lie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this nigga robbed dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me and my sister were talking about she was like, I ain't gonna lie, you is right though, bitch. Why is you saying this? Like, why are you saying this? Let me see if I can upload this from the fucking computer. Damn. Damn. <laughs> hey, that was a banger, man. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. That, that that shit was a banger. What? That shit, man. That shit is a banger. <laughs> She's so different. She's so different. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He ain't lying, y'all. He said, I want a wife. They said, I'm losing it. And that shit was all I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Bitch came out with a banger. <laughs> 
Turkey, oh. Yeah. Turkey, oh. Yeah. She don't want to sign up. She don't want to. She just want to take the plane. She only like bitches to... slap, bro. I ain't gonna fake them bitches. I used she to play them hoes last... out. She left her last nigga. I think the nigga died or something, and then went to dirt. That nigga upped her off the blue. Yeah, out the out the blue. I didn't even know who she was. She was talking about her in her song. I was like, see, and this is and this is, this is not no massage me shit. I swear to God, when these niggas be getting these bitches and then glow them up. And they ha- and they or I guess they be having their own shit going on before they meet the nigga like Jada, Ari, India. Only the hoes know them because of their makeup shit or whatever shit they sell it. That don't mean them hoes are famous. So when they get with these niggas and for some reason have their own fan base and these hoes are not like people that we should really be checking for. I'm sorry. Yeah. Who are they? They really basic for real. Like India, bro. Like India? <laughs> like, okay. She's a, I ain't gonna lie. To, I ain't gonna lie. She's the less corny one out of all three of them. I agree. She might be a corny hoe. Who knows? But she's just nah, corny's corny. I ain't even gonna say she a lesser corny. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna go rewatch this episode. That nigga Rue was hollering. <laughs> Rue was hollering like that. I was hollering, man. I, just look, man. <laughs> I'll be talking shit. That, that was a great ep- That little time period when we was recording, bro, we dropped some great fucking episodes. Oh, yeah. We're going to get back to it, too. Nate already hey. talking about uh the podcast shit. We was talking about it at work. Speaking of which, man. Rest in peace to the whole time podcast, man. Uh, we had I threw, some- I threw a little bit of that in there too, man. That's a sad one. That was a sad case, bro. That's sad. a sad one. Still sad. I mean, I, I wow. Me and him got me and him had some solo episodes that were pretty fire too. It was it's somebody that has the local whole time podcast. You said what? Somebody has a name to a title to their podcast called Whole Time Podcast. Ooh. Did Remy LLC that shit? Yes, he did. Somebody better contact that nigga and go get some I money. I don't I don't see that on I don't see no episodes on YouTube. Mm. That nigga really deleted that shit. It's crazy. Yeah, bro. Like it's like, man, like. We had some solo episodes that were bangers, bro. I was talking about like my last album and like just how like the yeah, like they were man. I think it wouldn't come to him, and I ain't gonna lie to you. Maybe this is just me, cause I ain't gonna fake. I still be trying to find ways to jerk to find this nigga or get in contact with bro, cause that shit was very. I can see we had some real beef, and. It escalated there, but like, bro, that shit was weird. That shit was weird. Out the blue, at that. Like, it was very weird and out the blue. So I'd be like, what happened, bro? Did you just come to this epiphany? You you want to leave Earth and not associate with nobody? I can respect that to a... Let niggas know or do something. Don't make up no weird situation like niggas is doing something to you or whatever. Or whatever the case was. I don't know. because That shit was weird. Again, like, and then to delete your podcast, every, like, I can go on Anchor right now, bro, and no episodes are on there. I mean, yeah. ooh, I was playing Mortal Kombat. Um, I can go on Apple, no episodes are on there. And I'd be like, damn, cuz, like, he got that one episode. It was like a couple of minutes long, but like, I guess that was the last time a nigga recorded something. And that was it. Self delete is a thing, man. It is a thing, but it's crazy because 
I, I, even I asked niggas like Joe or whatever his his niggas. It was like, no, nah, they ain't they ain't heard from him. Yeah, I be like, damn, my God, I, I hate, and I don't even, and I hate that shit for him, for real. I'm very um empathetic. I I can come off like that sometimes. I understand people think I'm not. I can't come off empathetic in situations like that because it's like nigga, we were saying you out the blue just fell off the face of the earth, my nigga. I want to see what happened, bro. What, what's wrong? What's going on? Like, why? What the fuck happened? Like, if, if niggas don't give me a response, I'm gonna just move on, not give a fuck. But she like, I like I wanted to be that nigga to be like, I'm gonna disappear off the face of the earth. But then I was like, that's kind of selfish. Like, if you think about it, like that's selfish as fuck because you got people who genuinely care about you. Like, yeah, you got. Majority of people really don't give a fuck about you, but the people who do care, you at least owe them that explanation of why you want to disappear. I I really feel that personally. So to like, even when he went on live and shit, I was joking around. I'm like, I'm really looking at it in a sad situation. I'm like, bro, what the fuck did this start from? And why are you doing this? Why are you bringing this to Instagram and you put on a show for these for people that know us? Like. I had to hit up Carl. Like he was like, "Rob, bro, what, what's going on?" I'm like, bro, I have no idea. He just started tweaking for no reason. Tweaking. And I ain't gonna fake not to like air nobody shit. I don't know. I, I know he had issues with his with his mom and what was going on with his grandmother and shit. Like, I don't know if if any of that trigger anything or whatnot. But I don't know, man. Man, but that's like. You know that's that's what we here for, bro. Like when people pass in my like when my when my pops passed, bro. I was talking to you about it. Like you know, bro. Like that's what we here for. We here to just I don't know, man. Like niggas need, niggas need that safe space, bro. Niggas need a safe yeah, space. Yeah, like it just disconnect from the world. Like isolation is not bad. I think too much isolation is terrible for somebody. It is. I agree, hundred percent. So it's like. You isolating yourself, my nigga. Like that's I and I kind of used to be telling him that, like a little periodically. And she's like, too much isolation can really fuck you up for real. Mm -hmm. Trust, tr trust, and believe me. I I swear that it can, for real. It's like, why do you want to be by yourself? Like what? Like well, why? Nobody truly wants to be by themselves. I think nah. when that, it's really a front for whatever they feeling at the moment. It's cold. Uh, but yeah, but it's not, it's not funny. It's not healthy. And let the and I could be a nigga who really trashed on a nigga for really doing some lame corny shit. I, I really could. I could have been that way. I actually be saying it's it's really fucked up, bro. Like whatever's going on. I, we haven't heard from this nigga all year. Yeah, it's been a year, bro. Like a whole year, almost two, really. No, not two, nigga. Remember we? It was it was it was December, January, bro. Um, I text the group chat. I was like, "Hey, I know we ain't linked in a while, but niggas, let's let's think about getting some shit going on. What's up, with my niggas? You responding like shit? Shit? What y'all trying to do? What's up? Let's do it. Do you remember what that nigga respond was? It was uh he said something like why or something like or why what or he said something like it was very nonchalant like it was very stupid like it was very stupid and I was like I even look weird at it I was like bro what like we was all supposed to link up anyway like you acting like you don't want to link and so I'm like fuck it bro <laughs> like. And I'm just like, fuck it, Rob. You you trying to link, bro? Like me and you, we can get some cooking real quick. I, I found <laughs> it. I found it. Um uh, <laughs> so February, February third this year. I said, "What happened to y'all niggas?" Both y'all niggas said, "What?" 
<laughs> I said, shit, let's link. Let's do something. Let's plan something. He was like, shit, what's up? We can't tomorrow evening for real. The nigga said, plan what? You said you might saw to your dad and your grandma, but after that, you was free. I said, all right, Remy, you being a dick. <laughs> I said, LOL. I said, shit, I mean, let's plan and link up. Let's do something. I'm free all weekend. I'm off. I was, I was off the whole weekend. Nigga, Remy said, to do what? I don't know, nigga, nigga, let's link and we'll figure it out. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, bro, we could do whatever. Like, chill, smoke, pot. You can go do poop. something. <laughs> like, we go, like, whatever. Like, 2021 or something at the time? I think like 25. Hit a bar. You probably just turned 26. Hit a bar. <laughs> that nigga didn't drink, bro. He didn't even have a drink. We could just hit one. Like we could just something. That nigga, that, nigga come, that nigga come from 30th, man, a treacherous place. So you know, niggas grew up with that mindset and and in a way. I don't know. Man, we could do whatever, like linked up, linked up with Nate, play some like anything, bro. We could do anything, bro. Yeah, I have a question: What we about to? We can question each other, like when we. Get to each other, but niggas like, oh no, man, bro, that vacation was was definitely well needed, bro. It was needed, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You play any uh, you play any type of games when you was on vacation? Nigga, I didn't even bring my ex. I just chill with family, bro. No, I'm talking about like family games. Like, I didn't bring my Xbox either. Literally, all of my family old as shit. Country as fuck. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, they watch football, eat, drink, smoke. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I was like, shit, nigga, I eat. I smoke. You watch football. <laughs> so, was like, that's, yeah, that's cool. Man, we was, bro, we was playing space the whole time. The whole fucking time. Man, listen. <laughs> Alabama was fun. Hot as fuck. But I bet, bro. It's like what? It was probably like 80. It was. You hit it right on the motherfucking money. Get it right on the motherfucking money. Oh, I mean, knowing man, I, I used to go in the winter. That's how I know. Them niggas watch college football though. Bucks with it, but the NFL to me is a little bit better. It is to me, but you know, you, you down the south like. Other than Tennessee, them niggas ain't really or Atlanta, they ain't really got too much football shit going on in the film. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, up here, like football is like that's our shit. I want to get some food, but I only got cash. God fucking damn. You better order you a pizza. I'm not even being funny when I say this. My nigga, what pizza place is gonna deliver at 11 34 at night? Ooh, I didn't even look at the time. I knew you was going to hit me with some shit. I, I'm not even being funny. I, I, I genuinely, I genuinely just would like to know. Because my, let me, let me, let me, let me, I could just, um. You in Parma? No, sir. Where I'm you in, at? I'm in Richmond. Ooh. Rich what? Richmond. Richmond. <laughs> I'm watching that shit tonight. Rich, what? I was, Rich to, I was about to play the game and shit. See, I was, but my Wi Fi fucked right now. How the fuck you on the phone? Uh, I mean, I I, I have cell phone service now. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, my the, it works on the phone, just not on the game. Like, I gotta we gotta just up it a little bit. It's cool. Oh my god, everything around here is fucking closed, bro. 
Yeah, man. I said, some, sh- I said some bullshit. It's a sheets um getting built down the street from here on Sharton. So when that shit get built up, boy, I don't even know. Shit smack. There's a sheets right up the street on uh West 130th, bro. Y'all some real West Side niggas, man. My cousin Sean. That nigga West Side nigga too. I, he another nigga that just started being weird, just out of the blue, just uh, got no hope for people. <laughs> see that? That's like, see, like that's one thing about me. Like, I don't think I could ever be like out the blue weird. Like, I don't know. Like, I think I'm just too comfortable with just how I act. I've always been like that since high school to just switch up. Like, why well, switch up if I'm already? Cause niggas they never was switched right. You feel me? Niggas then was made right. So I mean, uh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it, man. Like one of my cousins was in is is doing time right now. I ain't gonna lie. He was. I don't know if you heard about was a nigga. I ain't gonna say too much, but I mean the case is done. Nigga locked. So. I don't know if you heard. You not really hit to a lot of East Side shit. It was mm-hmm. one nigga who got killed in the house in Cleveland Heights, like, like a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah, I didn't hear about that. So, again, not to spill no beans or be on no. The, the case is done. So whatever I can say, it's already like niggas went to trial, but it's crazy. So my cousin. Killed the nigga. And he, but you know it's funny because nigga was in his sister's crib being crazy, doing extra shit. Nigga held a gun onto my cousin. My cousin popped him, killed him right there. You know what's crazy? He did probably like four months, four or five months of jail time and got out. He ended up getting like 10 years probation. Now, in the midst of all that, I'm telling people while he locked. And at the round of time, I didn't really, I wasn't fucking with my cousins for other reasons. Like, nigga be acting selfish. He weird. He don't move for everybody but himself. Nigga, just that type of person. So I kind of stopped fucking with him for real. Still love him. Still love him, though. Still love him. Just don't fuck with him. So, you no know, people coming to me tell him because it's like he killed a, a heartless felon nigga. Like, one of the biggest, or if not the biggest in Cleveland. Now, no, I ain't gonna tell nobody names. That's the only thing I ain't gonna do, but fuck it. So, he was dealing with that in jail. You know, they on that Harley's Fellowship, and they really be niggas, really, it's on that. So, you know, a lot of people was in the city looking for him, like on his ass, like looking for this nigga. Cause like he just killed somebody that was well known and respected, but not knowing why he killed him. He, he tried to throw at my sister. I'm a doc. <laughs> Y'all kept saying shit. He not wrong. Somebody tried to do that shit to my sister. I don't give a fuck who you is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I kept telling people like he not wrong. He not wrong. Simple as that. Simple as that. So. I knew he wasn't about to do no. The only time I say he probably was gonna get is probably they probably gonna throw a gun charge on him. And sure enough, they kind of I don't know too much about what they gave him, but I know they gave him 10 years probation. I think it was probably like second degree murder or first or second, definitely for sure. So he did like four or five months and then go to trial, got had some cool lawyers and 10 years probation. I ain't gonna lie. And the nigga in that situation, that was a smart thing because, like I told you, he was going to Let's prison. Go. Listen, but it's a dub, but it's not because yeah, he, he didn't do no jail time. He's not about to do an extended period of time. But that's gonna be on your record following you forever, forever. That's true. And it's so crazy that he's not wrong in that. He's he, he's not he's not wrong. 
That's true. He's not I'm, wrong. My cousin had, had, has has had multiple gun charges, like just having a gun, not supposed to, not registered, then doing it again. Like he had multiple of those. So I don't know if that added up to it, but like like I said, cool. But, but the only reason why it was cool because, like I said, Harley Stones don't play that shit in in prison. Like it, it niggas are that, and you just killed the biggest one in Cleveland. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be good. This is gonna be wishing to be on your ass if they find out who you is. So I guess something happened. He was riding with a pipe and it had some shit on him, and he pulled out. He doing four years for um, four years in. He was a basic violation. And I say this to say, you got one job, bro. Listen, listen. And I say this to say this, and why I say I start fucking with my cousin. Because niggas have adapted this street shit over the last six or seven years. I've seen niggas, per- I've seen both of my cousins, one that's the same age as me, one that I always be putting on grandma list. Ain't gonna say his name, but I always post his music. Always post his music. I say he's the best rapper in Cleveland. I've been saying this is my cousin since he was like 12. I say he can, I, I, I'm gonna link you to his music and I'm gonna link you with him. Because I feel yeah. like y'all be, I'm a linky. I'm I'm glad we having this conversation because yeah. you gonna hear him. You be like, damn, this little nigga hard. And I'd be like, yeah, I've been telling niggas since he was 12. Niggas don't be put niggas so focused on the image of the lifestyle of being a, a quote unquote street nigga. Y'all be missing so many avenues of being your own lane, but y'all too busy trying to be like other people. Bro, I, I I grew up in the hood where I seen multiple niggas I was friends with turn to the streets. And they necessarily didn't have to. Niggas just seen what everybody else was doing, blah, 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 and wanted to be in. And because everybody else was in, they didn't want to be out. I, I stopped fucking with niggas. Once my two cousins that I used to be with all the time grew up young, our parents are damn, damn near family. All, all of it. Once I start seeing niggas start turning to the streets, I used to tell niggas, y'all don't have to be on that. I know niggas grew up in the hood. Y'all don't have to be on the same hood. Shit. I told my, I told one of my cousins who, who be rapping, bro, I will pay for you to get into the studio to stay in that bitch. Do your rap shit. Only focus on that. I know we got day to day shit. We go through the motions of life. Like even my other cousins, the same age as me. I told this nigga we got out of high school. When niggas started trying to be be on that shit, I said, "Bruh, go to school, bro. Work. Get like that. Like you trying to be on this tough shit because our fathers used to be streets, street niggas. It's it's not like, bro. It's not doing shit. I used to hear all the time. Like it used to be niggas trying to get, grab me in the streets. It's how my father used to be. I'm like, no, I'm cool. I don't need to." My father never promoted that shit. My father said he got the street because he started having kids. And shit not worth it. No. That shit is not. When I be seeing niggas be flowing that shit or, or talking or like glorified, y'all niggas are glorifying bullshit. <laughs> I, I, I grew up in it. My whole family, like n- older niggas I know are off. Bro, my whole family is connected from St. Clair, Cliffview, Superior, like I'm very well. Like everybody know on the clear, they know my fa- know my father, they know me or my or my siblings. Cliffy, the same. Superior, the same. Like very very much. I don't need to try to get. I don't need that. I never needed it. That's why I used to spend a lot of time by myself. Cause niggas be on gang shit. Yeah, yeah, like you, you listen to my music. I don't be, I don't be on that shit, man. It it's sound like, good on the music. Now my cousin do be on that. It, it sound good, man. He don't talk about it a lot. He, yeah. Like sometimes he get to his bag, his his melody bag, his ad lib bag. Nigga be, oh yeah, he's a he's talented. Nigga is talented, bro. And now he started singing about other shit, rapping about other shit, and positive shit. And I told the nigga last few unreleased songs he he, he showed me. I was like, bro, if you tap into this, that gonna make you a whole different type of nigga. 
you only stuck in this one pocket and you great in it, but nigga, you expand your pocket, bro. Like, yes, bro. Yes. One of my other co my cousin that's had the murder case and shit. Nigga, he had a, he had a whole STNA license. I said, bro, why are you too busy trying to be so, like a nigga? You could make twenty five an hour right now. You too busy trying to press holes that only want to fuck with you when you got something. You only want to be around niggas or want the image. Like why? Like why? It's corny. And I may say this coming from a corny nigga. I I literally always been a nigga who work went home. I might go kick it, do some fun shit, hoop. Other than that, I'm not into that shit, bro. Yeah, I'm, that's me. I'm gonna kick it. But and I'm gonna I work and go home, niggas, bro. Niggas are followers. Niggas are followers. Don't ever be a follower. I'm never promoting no follower activity. I only be around niggas who are leaders. That's it. And that's why I'm gonna teach my son to be because niggas. Is... And like that's I said, it. you. Like I said, it, it might look cool or it might be more appealing. Everybody adapt to it, but like it's really once you look at it in depth. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because then the streets come with so many different rules and regulations for everybody. Just because you in the streets, you don't play by the same rules as niggas has been in for years or have a bigger name and blah, 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 blah. Niggas be whole rats and hoods, nigga. And some niggas care about it, some niggas don't. You could be a nigga that be very well known, big dog. You can snitch and niggas will sleep under the rug. And another nigga who's not that. He will get drugged through the mud. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's it. And that's it. That's it. Rule is dip. It, it's it's so much different shit. People no nah, man. I ain't gonna lie, I, I do kind of live by some of those, you know. I'm not in. Like for instance, if I'm committing, if we commit a crime, I'm not gonna snitch on you. Yeah, I mean, I live by the I live by the street code. I just don't live in the streets. That's it. And I know, that's, <laughs> I, I, I know that can come up to be contradictive. I know that it sounds like that. But you got to, like, really think about it like the street code makes sense. Like, it's like... Not all the time. Not all the time, but it's like, bro, so, like... Maybe a few things make sense. Put it like this. Oh, no, no. Put it like this. Like, if you and your brother did some shit like ate some shit you wasn't supposed to eat and your mom like be like who ate it and hey, i ain't lying my brother gonna look at me as a bitch ass nigga like damn nigga gonna say it's just me and you gonna snitch God, damn. you gonna snitch for real <laughs> damn i ain't snitching bro i ain't saying shit but that's why you do crime on your own. Ladies and gentlemen, do not have a co-defendant. Don't have nobody that was a witness around, nigga. Whatever dirt that you... Because guess what, nigga? If I get caught on my own fuck shit, you got me. You got me. If you got all the evidence, nigga, without me saying something... To criminal, you got you, huh? Yeah, you got me. You got yeah, me. me, I'm going to try and fight it. But what if you can't, nigga? What if they got every single evidence to prove it was you? At that point, you got me. Depending got on me. how, depending on how it looked, we could talk about the plea or the whole time. But I ain't about, I ain't about to go nigga, down. Nigga, what if they have so much substantial, substantial evidence, nigga, that you're not giving? Like the ball is in their court. There's no reason for you to. You can ask for it, but they don't have to talk about it, nigga. Like there's no way you're getting the plea, nigga. You want to do all this time. Hey, you said the ball, the ball in their court. Well, I'm Jordan. I'm about to go steal it back. No, no, nigga. I'm about to go steal it back. It's some situations where it's not. It's some situations, niggas is going down. Evidence, witnesses, all this other shit is DNA. It's no way sometimes it's sometimes niggas is not. Bro, you're going down. I'm going down swinging, man. You know I don't like losing. I, we already broke this. Down. Spend, I don't like losing. You about to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on lawyers, nigga, yep. and you're going down anyway? I'm Fuck no. It. Give me a couple. If I have it, I'm going to do it, man. If I have it, I'm going to do it. Let's get it. Let's get That's it. That's not smart, bro. <laughs> smart. Let's I ain't At least give me lower time. I mean, fuck. <laughs> like at least give me no, lower time. Nigga. Why would Fuck. they do that? And you have no leverage in that. Why would they give you a, a plea and you not 
you don't have no, if you had leverage to where they can't prove they it. Give me a plea. Uh, they gonna they gonna hit me with a plea. Depending on the crime, bro. Depending on what I did, they gonna hit me with a plea. You got me fucked up. What if you're a career criminal? If I'm a career criminal, I wouldn't get caught. Career criminals get caught, bro. Not the good ones. I'll be a good one. Some good ones get caught. Yeah, but though I wouldn't be the right, same that get caught. Those got caught hell in times. And, and yes, he got out. That doesn't mean niggas can get caught. Can't man, get li caught. Listen, man. I listen, if I'm I ain't getting caught, man. I, I already have in my my head. I, ain't I don't know about right. now. Ruler ego is through the fucking roof. I mm -hmm. swear. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, this sir. This nigga is Speak crazy. I ain't getting caught, bro. Some, career like, criminals, some good ones get, get caught, bro. I'm gonna be a great one. I'm gonna be an excellent you, one. Fuck, are, fuck a great one. I'm gonna be an excellent you. one. If if I was a if I was a criminal, I would be an excellent criminal, bro. What's I swear. Up, bro? Hell yeah, I, yeah, I was reading the comment. I was reading the usage. Oh, no, you good. BG, what's good, my brother? Oh yeah, been in there. Hey, what's good? <laughs> Hell yeah, my boy. What's good? I had to go look through the comment, bro, to see if it was you. <laughs> what, what they saying? He said, what's up with y'all? I said, what's good, my boy? Man, we just on here chopping it up. If, tell this nigga, bro. Some some criminals get caught, bro. Some good ones get caught, bro. And I'm going to be a, I'm gonna be an excellent one. There's Ex no way in the world ever. Do excellent ones get caught? You will get caught. Do excellence, excellence don't get caught. If you get A plus, you're you're great. You're excellent. I'm gonna be an A plus excellent. If I was a criminal, I ain't gonna be no career criminal though. I, but if I was one, I'd be excellent, bro. Y'all wouldn't even know I'm a criminal. In their life, and you're huh? getting millions, or you're getting a lot of money, wealthy, and you getting away with shit. You're not gonna make it a career. No, because at some point I know when to stop. I ain't like I have a big ego, but the money is gonna like be enough for me to keep my ego big enough. No, what is enough? I say like, bro, like when, bro. All right, so when Franklin hit that seventy-five million, I would have said I'm out. I would have cast out, bro. Why would I? Why would I sell for seventy-five when I can get a hundred? See, that's you. That ain't me. See, nigga, that's you. Kids, that ain't my me. Kids gotta, my kids got to live, nigga. I'm casting out at that 75 million, and we move into a whole... We we going... Like, we good, bro. We good, bro. We cashing out. Like, we cashing out 75 million, and then that way I can invest hey, it in stocks and shit. Just, hey, what did Benji just say? He say, shit, chilling, bro. Hey, Capone got caught because taxes, bro. Niggas can get caught, bro. and not Niggas can get caught. You just gotta have businesses around it, man. Listen, but sometimes they can get caught by shit like just taxes, nigga. What do see, you when you, see when you think like that, bro. That's how you get caught. I ain't even thinking like that. We'll worry about taxes. I'll, I'll hire me a nice little financial advisor. We gonna be great. We gonna be, well, we gonna be excellent. They can, sometimes they can fuck up. People, a human error is a real fucking thing, bro. Hey, check they this out. To. Check this out. With that 75 million, bro, I would have me, I would have got me a franchise. I would have been a billionaire. I would have been a legit billionaire if I had 75 million. Trust me. Trust me. I would have cashed out. I would have been done. So I, frankly, if I was frank, I would have been done, bro. Oh, 75 million is cool. I would have put I would put, bro. I would have had so many businesses. It would have been going. And then Benny said, hey, frankly, did say he was out. Teddy wasn't with that shit, though. You you feel me, bro? Like, but Franklin should have been smarter and cashed out. Like he had like ties to his accounts, bro. He should have cashed out, bro. He should have cashed out. I would have cashed out. Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah, that's true. That ain't gonna, that, that's true. He said what? He said, "Hold on, let me go back." He said, "I was using I was using Franklin as an example, though. Like if I like I'm saying, like if I was a career criminal and I got the seventy five million, I'm done." But these TV shows are showing that nigga, this is never it's never a, anything. These niggas is a lot. These niggas in real life are still in life of crime. See, I wouldn't be though. Like there would be no point for me to be. There's no way in hell, nigga. You're making substantial amount of money off of violence and or drugs. You're seventy five. To... But check this out. There's people that make billions off of business. So I would take that same seventy five, invest it in a good but business. That, that doesn't mean you're going to stop being. Yeah, involved. it does. Yeah, it's it does. Fun. No, it's yeah, not. it does. It, no, it does. 
how, how does it not, bro? What? It's literally a choice. If I say I'm done, I'm fucking done. If I say I'm done, I'm fucking done, bro. If I be like, hey, I'm done eating for the day. But, but, then, hey, I'm done eating for the day. But that's but that's different. That's something that you can like. I don't know, bro. It, it's not easy for people to just go cold turkey. Yes, yeah, you can invest in other things to make it be legit as well. You really, it really is easy, it bro. It does not mean you still won't be involved in the life of crime. Listen, bro. It's a it's a choice. If someone came to me and was like, "Damn, I heard That's about awesome. you. You were you used choice. to be a career criminal. It's Help me out." I'd be like, "I'd be like, what the fuck do you do?" And then he'll be like, "Oh yeah, I sell drugs." I'll be like, "Oh yeah, I ain't a part of that life. I'll put you in a nice little job, though. I got a you know a job opening for you. Fill out an application, do that. Work for me like that. That's but awesome. I don't I don't do that drug shit no more. I don't Sometimes do none of that. Had that choice, bro. But like. If I made 75 million and I'm a career criminal, that means I'm a boss. Bosses have choices. I'm done. That's my choice. He said, I'm done. <laughs> That's my choice. I'm a boss, bro. If you a boss and you don't have a choice and you ain't a boss for real. We almost had two hours. Yep. And we having a great conversation. <laughs> it's not that easy, bro. If you a boss, it is. Even bosses get their hands dirty. Nigga, what you talking about? Okay, I got my hands dirty, and now I'm done. I'm about to go wash them. I'm clean. Well, you've been doing something for so long, it's like a second nature to you. So it, you say that. Exactly. Same exactly. It's a second, not a first. <laughs> mm -hmm. You like how I did that? I always believe in that. Second nature is just second nature, but it ain't a first to me. Playing the drums is a second nature, but I don't really play them no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I play the drums. Hell yeah. Oh shit, nigga, it's musical. Hell yeah, bro. My whole family, yo. I, I know how to play the drums. I wanted to learn how to play the guitar though. Yeah, same, same. The guitar, piano, like, all that. Well, that's your guitar. Fuck a regular one. Well, this nigga is hilarious. We are about to be done. Is there anything, yeah. is there anything else you want to say? And uh, I'm about to see how these Lakers doing. <laughs> let's see now. Yep, before we get off real quick, let's check the score, man. Let's not waste no time. Oh, I'm scared. 54-58 at halftime. Who? Oh. Magic. Hold up. See, I don't like looking at the stats, bro, because if AD... Okay, 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 okay. Bron, what the fuck? Hey, no, listen, because I can expect LeBron can, to come alive. I can't expect the AD to come alive. No, so no, no. AD Rob, Rob, wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. I'm saying Bron, what the fuck? Because AD, you know, AD cooking. He got 18, 2, and 6. Bron down here got 5, 4, and 2. Bron That's played cool. 16 minutes. AD played 18 minutes. Bron, what the fuck is going on? I can't expect for LeBron to come alive. As long as AD doing him, they need to they need to give him touches in the in the fucking second half. So, so I ask. This is the Lost Ones podcast, Ruler. I'm about to go eat, bro. Sure. Please go watch the episode. We are. I'm gonna put this in the, in the description later on tonight. Oh yeah, I'm about to watch it after we get off this. All right, bro. For sure.